The sensorial exercises in the Montessori classroom explicitly focus on enabling children to learn to observe, concentrate, and categorize their observations. This is where young scientists are born. Sensorial materials come in a variety of shapes. Each material isolates a certain quality. The red rods focus attention on length. The brown stare on width and height. Other materials, like these knobless cylinders, change in height and width simultaneously. Notice the student's focus on placing the thinnest cylinder and her pleasure as she succeeds. This little girl is comparing and matching the sounds made by shaking different cylinders. This girl is comparing musical tones and matching bells by the tones they produce. This teacher is working with a boy to help him match the taste of different liquids in these bottles. More advanced sensorial work introduces, for example, geometric shapes, such as here with the constructive triangles. And our toddlers start with simplified materials, such as, for example, these stacking cups. As everywhere in Montessori, our students choose to work on these activities. This girl is setting up the sound cylinders. Notice with what care she sets up her work. The covers line up with the boxes. The boxes line up with each other. The cylinders line up in two straight rows. Observe the concentration on her face as she listens to the sound to match the cylinders. Once all cylinders are matched, she carefully replaces them in their boxes and returns them to the shelf. Notice that the girl does this work independently without direct teacher guidance. This is possible because of the one-on-one -on -one presentations and careful preparation that the teacher does in advance. Sensorial activities build in difficulty. For example, color matching starts with matching colors on the same rug. In this more advanced version, the student matches colors at a distance. The teacher guides the girl to set up one set of colored tablets on one table and another one across the room. She then asks the girl to identify a color and to walk across the room to find its partner and bring it back. Notice how this exercise requires color memory and the ability to stay focused on task despite all the other activities going on in the classroom. Notice how the teacher also verifies that the girl knows the words for the colors and how the materials check themselves. Did you find brown? Let's see, does it match? This quality of being self-correcting is also obvious with a pink tower. Here, the teacher guides the boy as he starts with his work. But he doesn't need her to see if he does his work right. 
observe how the materials help him correct himself when he makes an error. The trinomial cube is one of the more complex sensorial materials. It represents an advanced mathematical formula, which the students later encounter in Montessori Elementary. But it is also a challenging puzzle, which requires the student to apply skills he has learned before. He tends to color and size, and he has to concentrate to put the whole puzzle together. This is a great exercise to try when you visit a classroom. It'll give you an appreciation for how effortlessly this young girl solves a challenging puzzle. Through the sensorial exercises, the world opens up for our students. Their observational skills help them as they branch out and, for example, study geography by putting together puzzle maps of the world. Their skills in classifying and vocabulary help as they learn about biology. Their ability to listen closely and distinguish sounds is a foundational skill for learning written language. And learning to distinguish quantities is the foundation for mathematics which take even kindergartners into the thousands and beyond in our Montessori classrooms. Thank you. 3,452, 1, equals 4, Sensorial materials may look simple on the shelves, but the skills they impart are truly wonderful. This is where young scientists are born.